all we're talking about is how you break the joints down the tree at different times and you can do it with timing and you can do it with poses or you can do it with both. Most of it in here is done with poses. So this right here even, of course you gotta stretch on the blade. But you see how just with this, the shoulder leads the action, then the, it moves to the elbow, then it moves to the wrist, and then the wrist completes the action through there. Do you guys see what I'm talking about right there? And this thing is full of progressively breaking joints. And this is what I'm always talking to you guys about trying to add to your actions because it, if, and I tend to do it a lot with the nose and the chest, like if that's moving at the same time, it feels like I am a robot and I move like this, you know, but simply breaking up the tree between the controller that handles the chest, the controller that handles the neck, then the head, you know, or throughout the tree of the arm, how you get those whipping actions. I'm sure there's a whipping action here and there's an antic. So <laughs> there's gonna be smear frames on this. <laughs> and you can see you have a blur frame of three arms in there, but each one is progressively breaking throughout, right? So have fun. Um, if you have access to the Dropbox, have fun going frame by frame because there's lots of great stuff in there. So things do not come to a stop all at once. First there's one part, then there's another. This is what I want you guys to remember when you're dealing with progressively breaking joints. Sorry, I'm fixing things on my screen here. So I love these images. I, I, they all came from different places. The top one is from Preston Blair. And if it's not too small on your screen, you guys should be able to see how the handkerchief around the cowboy's neck and his hair is, and the horse's hair for that matter are moving at different rates than the initial line of action that's going on here with the bucking horse. And even the hat has drag, um, his arms have drag, they drag behind. If he's going down, the arm is going up, you know? And if he goes up here, the arm is going down. So these are where you break the joints and you make things happen at a different rate. And most importantly, you show natural weighty motion. Same thing here, we've got a joint here, a joint here, and then we've got all these joints in here too that follow that action. So it starts here and works its way down the tree. Overlapping action is how you illustrate weight in animation. It's when the timing is varied so that something is leading first and then some things are dragging. It happens when elements also arrive or stop at different times to define how that weight's been distributed throughout the hierarchical tree. And I keep using my arm as an example. These are from Animator's Survival Toolkit and it's simply showing you even for a clap, some drag that you have going on. And then of course, the swinging arm for a walk or other actions. And this is simple overlapping action illustrated where it's initiated from the clavicle. And of course it would start actually at the center of gravity, work up the spine, and then the arms are gonna start at the shoulder, work down the elbow and further down, even down to the fingertips, continuing that line of action. How much you drag will depend on style, as well as how weighty the character is and how weighty the appendage or the bit that's dragging is. So inanimate objects are also a slave to primary action. Clothing and appendages lag behind the primary action. When I say appendages in this term, I mean tails, ears, uh, reins, anything that's inanimate will still drag behind the primary action. This is um, usually, or sometimes called tertiary actions or tertiary movement. So progressively breaking joints means instead of having the joints in the hierarchy all move at the same time from one position to the next, which is kind of how you work in the beginning, pose to pose, 
uh, trying to block your scene out, the joints break progressively from the source of the action or the force to show the flexibility, weight, and then the deployment of the force through the hierarchical tree, sort of like a whip. How does that whipping action work its way down all the way through the whip to the very end, the tip? Overlapping, oh, sorry, overlapping action is one of the ways you can progressively break a joint. 